Yeah, I wanted to talk about uh, the biggest thing, you know, in, in fight sports this week. Oh, boy. Is, you know, the clown show, the, <laughs> the freak show that is uh, Ben Askren and Jake Paul. And, uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, especially after see, today, seeing how Be- uh, Askren looked on the, on the scales, you know, I was pretty – I was pretty ready to, you know, put a put a, a wager on Ben Askren, but after seeing him not look in that much, you know, he wasn't in very good shape. Uh, it's just, it's. A, I don't want to. I don't want to bet Jake Paul, uh, but I will say this. I think. Um, I think if you look at Askren's, and you know, I'm comparing MMA to boxing now as far as betting results, but if you look at Askren's last four fights. All four of them went under the betting total. So um, there's the fight with Robbie Lawler. I think that ended early, right, yep. like pretty much pretty early. And then Jorge, obviously, five seconds. <laughs> the fastest then, KO in UFC <laughs> history. And then yeah. Maya, the Maya fight ended, uh, I think, like early in the third round. So then that was a fight that was like uh, an under four and a half. So um, and then his, I think before that, his one championship fight. The fourth one against um, Aoki, that one also went under. And then you look at Jake Paul. Jake Paul has had two title or two boxing fights. Both of them were finished. I think the first one that he had was finished very early in the second round. I think they were both finished. No, sorry. The one against Nate Robertson was finished like 56 seconds into the second round. And then his first fight, he knocked the guy out in the first round. So you got between their last six professional fights between MMA and boxing, all six of them have cashed on the under. So, you know, uh, I think I, I'm looking right now, you got under four and a half rounds prop at minus 105, and then under five and a half rounds prop at minus 120. I like both of those. I don't think, I think Askren, uh, you know, you talked about it, you tweeted about it, how like if this fight goes the distance, you got to think that the the judges are going to favor, you know, their cash cow, their their meal ticket and Jake Paul, you know, Triller is basically putting, you know, their money behind this guy, this attraction. So I, I think unless, you know, if Askren really wants to win this fight, he's going to try to finish him. He's not going to he's not going to be content with this fight going eight rounds, you know, unless he's just there to get a paycheck and. Who knows what's going on? Because that's you know that's the nature of what we're betting on here. Like, you know, who knows what the actual motivation is? But if Jake Paul is going to win this fight, I think you're getting a way better line on an under four and a half rounds or under five and a half rounds at minus one hundred five and minus one twenty. Because if it goes past that, he you know he might win by decision, but. You know, it's it's going to be very ugly at that point. It's going to be a clinch war. You know, it's going to just turn into constant cl- clinching and constant, you know, the ref having to break them up. Like, you know, old guy boxing, basically. And if it gets into the, you know, late into the sixth round, seventh round, it's not going to be pretty. It's not going to be – it's, it's going to be uh, – you know, you'll see punches out of the exchange, like out of the breakup and the, everything like that. But beyond that, I think if Jake Paul wins this fight, he's got to do it quickly. And I feel like if if Askren, there's something there with Askren that we might not have seen. He might have improved uh, quite a bit. Uh, but the way that he looked on the scales, he looked terrible. So <laughs> it's like, if I'm picking, I can't pick a winner. I'm just, I really like the total yep. here. I like the unders. And uh, yeah, I can't pick a winner. What do you think? Dude, let me tell you what I think. I think if there's anyone out there who's confidently on on anything in this fight, if there's somebody out there who's going, Jake Paul, round <laughs> one. You know, if there's somebody out there going, Ben Askren, by decision, Max Bet. <laughs> uh, that's somebody you need to discredit because, listen, I break down a lot of fights. I feel like I have a very good formula, a very good read, even if I don't. Even, uh, you know, usually, you know, because I always try to say, and this is who I pick, right? I never try to waffle and say, you know, uh, so I really don't have a pick. Sorry, it's a pass. You know what I mean? I'll always at least make a a bet here, right? Or I make a pick, excuse me. Honestly, dude, I don't know if I can do it because you're right. Um, Ben Askren not looking good today on the scales is enough where literally I'm like, 
sitting at this point where I'm like, Al, I don't know what bet in this makes any sense at all. Like, I just feel like when I, you know, think about this fight, like I wish right now I had a graphic I could hit and you could see like formulas like flying around my head. You know what I mean? As I like do something like this and look off into the space. Dude, I can't quantify anything in this fight. We haven't seen Jake Paul go deep into a fight at all. I have no idea what the dude's gas tank, cardio, pace, output's going to be beyond a second round. I know he hits very hard early on in a fight, but that's all I've seen. We don't have any other evidence. Then we're talking about Ben Askren, who's never been in a boxing match, right? Like, this dude's just never done this sport. That'd be like if you were like, listen, I'm going to tell you guys right now, LeBron James is the best soccer player on the planet. Like, what How? What are you basing off of? Uh, listen, the way that guy runs up and down in basketball down the court translates directly. Just add a ball, he kicks it in the net. Done deal, I'm telling you. That's what I mean. Like, uh, anything we have on Ben Askren, I just feel like it doesn't even apply. You know, like, we can look at this guy's UFC fights, but – it's just such a different animal. You know what I mean? Like, I yep. just I, – I can't come up with any confidence. And I hate to say it, I'll, I, I've just – I finally decided today when I saw Ben Ashman on the scale because I actually said – I did a video a day or two ago yep. talking about this fight. And I said I think that Jake Paul's most likely path to victory is finding that early KO. And I still think there's a very good chance that happens. But if this fight goes deeper, I at least know, ben, you know, Ben Askren can fight rounds he can go deep into a fight we've seen it right now don't get me wrong it's it's wrestling he's laying on top of the guy he's not standing on his two feet you know continuously having to throw punches right it's a different animal um but i said you know i i do think askren might have a shot if we see jake paul you know begin to gas the power fade and he's there to be hit and askren regardless of how bad his technique is just starts touching the guy up right um I just don't know, though, man. I feel like I have no evidence to support a prediction in any way. Here's what I'm going to do, Al. This is what I think the move is. I'm going to sit back, and I'm going to look to live bet the midway point of this fight. I think by the midway point of this fight, I'm going to have a good enough read on, uh, you know, if Jake Paul, if I, if I think he's going to be able to maintain that output, maintain that power throughout the fight, you know, who's won however many rounds, you know, I'll be keeping score in my own mind. But, Al, it's like you even said, man, mentioned in my tweet earlier, I feel like Ben Askren. But, I mean, first off, let's just acknowledge that legitimized boxing, boxing at the highest level, is one of the most corrupt, horrible <laughs> judged sports on the planet. And we're coming from MMA, dude. You know yeah. what I mean? We know about some shitty judging and boxing's like listen you guys ain't seen nothing yet check this out uh you know what i mean so and now we're talking like gimmick boxing so take take that take that like shitty judging and just put like an exponent on it dude like it's parabolic i i I really do think there's a chance that even ben ashner could win this fight six rounds to two five rounds to um three and they still go you know what that was a close fight. Jake Paul wins. We're going to keep this money train rolling. So I don't know, dude. It's a freak show fight. I just don't understand. You know, I, I just I don't have a strong a strong read on anything here, Al. Um, and I don't really feel like I, I ever could. You know, I, w- I would almost feel like I would need insider information and somebody telling me, yo, Askren's taking the check and he takes the dive in the third. You know what I mean? Like, other than that, dude, I have no yeah. idea what's going to happen here. I'm not sure if either guy going into that – uh, into that ring tomorrow really has any idea of how it's going to play out. I will say this, though, man. I could see this getting very sloppy, very crazy, very wacky. Um, but, but, dude, it's a freak show, and I'm going to – it's a freak show. It's entertaining. I'm going to sit back, try to be entertained, and if I see an edge live, I'm going to hit it. But other than that, dude, pre-fight bets, I, I just got to pass, dude, because I just – I don't have a clue, man. Uh, maybe you can help me find some clarity here. Yeah, I, I just think uh, I was looking at the his previous fight uh, odds results, and I know that he cashed at like plus thirteen hundred in the first fight to win in the first round. Jake Paul did, and I, I think he was like uh, nine to one to win in the second round in the second fight. So, I mean, there might be some uh, 
I, you know, you're just doing, you have to just be approaching this recreationally. There's yeah, no way. Yeah, it's exactly, dude. I this... have to say that I've convinced myself now that the best bet right now is the under, because even if it gets crazy and maybe if something happens and the ref, the ref calls it off, if there's a takedown or something, oh, up, you know what I mean? God. And it ends up oh. being a, not even a note, because uh, we've seen this. How many times have we seen this now? If it's a disqualification, the you know the point the duration of the bout is you know it's still right it's not a no contest they still count it so i think if this fight goes you know i can't imagine this fight going into the the later rounds because these two guys you know based on what we've seen in the media which is you know who it's the fight game so who's to say how authentic any of this is but these guys don't like each other, right? So yeah, I think it's going to be scrappy, and I think it's going to be a cat fight. <laughs> yeah, basically. and don't don't get me wrong, Al. Deep in my soul, would it be nice to see Ben Askren, a guy who wasn't really even good enough to be in the UFC, wouldn't it be great to watch him go out there, punch like an absolute idiot, but yet finish this dollar store Conor McGregor? Oh, my God, that would be phenomenal. So uh, either way, you know what, though? Um, I wouldn't be uh, too sad to see – Ben Askren, you know, eat eat a monster shot and get KO'd either. I'm just going to try and sit back and be entertained. You know what I mean? So um, I hope it's a good fight. I don't know how to answer any questions here. It's Let's, let's just leave it at what it is. Uh, I will say this, though, man. We're probably going to be talking about more of this stuff because, yeah, I mean, are. look at we're here talking about it right now. You know what I mean? Other <laughs> people are talking about this, and it's like a self-fulfilling prophecy this isn't going anywhere. It's probably going to do decent numbers. And, uh, yeah, who knows? You know. So, hey, c- get back with us in, you know, two months when we see Jim Carrey fights <laughs> Steven Seagal, you know? So, <laughs> I don't know, man.